everyone and welcome to this week's tutorial. As always, if you like this video, please hit like below and also subscribe to be notified of any future videos. You would have seen this report before and there's a few edit things, uh, but this is from our last tutorial on our visuals. Uh, this week we're going to add a few uh, extra uh, elements so that it makes it into more of a dashboard for shots. We're going to add some cards on the left hand side here so we can see goals scored, shots taken, also xg, xg per shot, things like that. We're going to add some context to see if this is above or below average for the team. And then we're going to also add at the bottom where these shots are coming from. It's from free kicks, corners, or even just open play. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna add our first card here at the top left, and it's gonna be for goal scored. So we're gonna go into tabular editor and make a measure for that. You'll see here, I've already added some measures here under a cards folder, so I'm gonna add it into there. And we're gonna call that goals underscore total. All right. I'm gonna go var goals equals goal. And then we're gonna make a filtered uh, data set here. So we're just gonna filter. We'll format this when we're finished here, but I'm gonna add a few enters at the bottom. So enter. And then we're gonna find shot outcome name. So I'll just scroll down the side here, drag this on. I'm gonna go equals goals. And then close our bracket. And it's also good uh, to practice to have your value stored as a variable as well. So we're going to do this here, and because we're working with text, we need to count ax. And then we're going to use the same thing here, so shot outcome name, we'll count how many rows are left. All right, and then lastly, because we know goals don't always get scored, we're going to add an if function using is blank our count value. So if our count value is blank, it will give us a zero instead of a blank value in our card. All right, let's format our decks and then hit save. All right, so now our new value has appeared. Let's add that to our card. Here we go, cards, and then goals total. There we go, so three goals were scored in this game. Awesome. All right, so let's go back to tabular editor, but this time we're gonna make a measure for our color. So again, I've got some measures already here, so a new measure, I'm gonna call this goals color. This time we're gonna add a var called goals as well, but this time it's gonna be our goals total card instead. And then again, we're going to add a filtered uh, data set, but this time it's going to use all for our shot summary. Because we want all the goals from a season. So here we go. And we're going to find, uh, also find shot outcome name, but we're going to do that soon. So first what we're going to do is just find and make sure our team name matches. Ooh, I think I've gone too far for that because it's near the start here. Let me see here. All right, so team name equals men. So I'm going to grab team name again and paste that at the end. And then for this one, we're also going to get our season name. So that is further down the bottom. Let's try and grab that one. So here, yeah, season name equals minimum as well and grab this across. All right. We're also gonna create a variable to count our matches. So we're gonna do that, and then we're just gonna do a count for this as well, but this one we need oh, a distinct count using calculate. Distinct count. And we're gonna use match ID for this one, so I think Match ID is near the bottom for this as well. Ooh, we've got match date, so maybe match ID is near the top. Let's go. Let's 
think I can order these. Ah, sort alphabetically. There we go. All right, so where's M? Here we go, so match ID there. And then we're gonna use our BF for that one. All right, and then let's also do a count value as well. So count value equals count AX BF. And this time we're gonna use shot outcome name. And here equals goal. All right. Now let's return our value, which is going to be goals minus our count value divided by matches. All right, let's format our DAX and then let's hit save. All right, so now our value is being saved across. We're going to click on our card, go to background, and we're going to add a background. And we're just going to hit our formula. So I've already actually added this in from before. And here we would just click rules and we'll find our measure called goals color. And then we can add in our formula. So here I've just added it so that the goal scored is taken away from our goals average and give us a value. So the darker the color is either it's above the average or it's below. Easy as that. So when we click OK, as the color to our measure or to our card. I already have our cards from previously, so I'm going to unhide them. So here we go. So we've done the same thing for shots, XG, XG per shot, shots on target. Ooh. And this last one, it's actually shots under pressure. So let's change that. Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, and the last thing we have left to do is add a matrix. So I've done half of that already. But we can add one more value to our matrix. So here, what we can do with our matrix is we can use our play pattern uh, variable from our data set. And all we actually need to do is add our measured cards from earlier. And this will just pop in our values. So our last value to add is shots under pressure. So let's put that at the bottom. And there we have it. What I can do is just resize this column slightly so it fits. And I can also rename this. So let's go shots under pressure. Enter. There we go. Last thing left to do is format our field. We can center align it. Oh, click under pressure. Center align it. And there you go. If we wanted to, we could make this a little bit wider so that our titles all fit. There we go. All right, so there we have it. We have some cards that add a little bit more context to our game, where our goals and shots have been coming from. And then we can also see from different teams. So if we stick, we can change to games. We'll see where all our shots and goals have come from. We can see different teams as well. All right, so there you have it. Now we have a little bit more of a dashboard for our shots taken throughout a season. If you like this video, please hit like below and subscribe so you're notified of any future videos. If you have any questions or comments about this video, I'd love to start a discussion. So feel free to start to add comments below this video or message me privately if you wish. Uh, and I hope to see you next time where we will power performance through data. Thank you.